this is one of the huge problems I have with Jesse Lee Peterson, his silent prayer hoax. Check this clip out, and this amounts to something that is not prayer at all, but something more akin to New Age or Buddhist teaching. Check it out. Relax. Straight in the chair. Relax. Yeah, like this. Okay. Put your hand, yeah. And the reason I have your palms up because heaven is above and it's inside. All right? And what I want you to do, and I'm talking to everybody too, when I have you close your eyes, uh, at some point I want you to tell, look out for the first thought. See what the first thought you get, all right? So I want you to just sit straight, relax. I want you to close your eyes and let go. Let yourself melt in the, in the, in the chair. Don't hold on to anything. Don't hold on to any thoughts or anything. Don't worry about tomorrow, yesterday, or when you get home or anything. Just close your eyes and relax. And you're going to hear a baby crying. That's beautiful because it's happening in the present. It's not happening tomorrow or yesterday. And so from, from the uh, top of your head, just be aware of the top of your head and just travel down from your head. Be aware of yourself traveling, the energy traveling from your head. Let your eyeballs relax. Let your eyes relax in the socket. Let your tongue just relax. Sit straight up and just let your tongue relax. There you go. And be aware that this energy is traveling down your body, your shoulders, your arms. And just totally relax. Down your legs, all the way to the tip of your toe, just relax. Let yourself melt in the chair. Don't hold on to anything. And uh, <clears throat> um, let yourself breathe. You will naturally breathe. God created you to breathe. You don't have to force that to happen. Just let yourself breathe. And then totally relax. Total relaxation. And, and I want you to be aware of the center of your forehead. Just stand back and observe the center of your forehead right above your eyebrows. Become aware of that area. Just stand back and look toward that area. And watch out for the first thought that comes. Just relax and look for the first thought. It's like you're standing uh, at a stoplight and the cars are going by and you're waiting for that first light to turn green so you can cross. So just be aware of the first thought that comes. And once you see it, let it go. Don't hold on to it. Don't have a conversation with it. Don't call it good or bad. Don't call it evil or non-evil. Just be aware of it. You are the observer. God is the creator. So just be aware of that thought. Don't hold on to anything. Just be aware. And just relax. Let go of every thought that comes. The ones that seem good and the ones that seem bad. They are both imposters. They build you up to let you down. They let you down to build you up. And just know God is in the presence. He's with you. So let every thought go. Don't believe anything. And I'm just going to be quiet one minute. To the people on the camera, I'm going to be quiet one minute so all of you, especially Alec, can have that quiet moment. And just... Among some other terrible things uh, Jesse says, like not to read a Bible, not to read your Bible, the fact that he talks about God but rarely talks about Jesus, the fact that he rarely or can even articulate what the gospel is or what grace is. This teaching about the silent prayer is something that does not resemble what happened when Jesus' disciples said, teach us to pray. And he, what did he say? He said, this then is how you should pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses if we forgive those who trespass against us. I mean, this thing looks nothing like that. Also, nothing like what 1 John chapter 5 expresses when it says, uh, this is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything in accordance with his will, he hears us, and if he hears us, we have what we ask for. So this is just something that could be best be described as mindfulness, maybe new age type clearing, 
and maybe quieting, resting, meditation, but it's not a prayer. It has nothing to do. And he uses another thing Jesse Lee Peterson uses all the time is telling people to follow their inner voice and to follow their self. And you know in your heart what's right and what's wrong. You know, like this, there's this inner voice. I mean, and a lot of times, a lot of ways, I kind of worry and I'm concerned that he's teaching people to follow a new age spirit and not the Holy Spirit. Because a lot of his followers just believe anything he says. And uh, I'm going to talk about some other things that are troubling me about Jesse. But this is not prayer. And so let's pray for him that the uh, gospel and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ could be delivered to him clearly. And that he would begin it in the years he has remaining to be an actual effective tool of the gospel.